Georgia's election laws were not the only big issues before the General Assembly this year. Legislators also passed a bill aimed at making sure students learn about real world issues in the classroom. House Bill 287 says schools should teach about the dangers of vaping and human trafficking. Taylor Hicks talked with some parents to get their thoughts on the bill. I think it's a really good idea for um, all of us to get on board with educating children about things that are uncomfortable. Monica Stevens Kirby has a daughter in second grade. Kirby says that she supports House Bill 287, which will require students in grades K through 12 to learn about the dangers of vaping. I certainly don't think it's the school's um, primary responsibility to do um, education around um, social issues. However, you know, I think it's a really good place to start. Kirby says it's important for educators and parents to have conversations with children instead of kids finding out the wrong way. Children know when we're lying to them and we don't want them to find out the wrong way from um, another child or to experiment with drugs. Madison Lowe's son will start kindergarten next year. She agrees with Kirby, saying that children need to learn about the dangers of vaping and tobacco at an early age. I remember being in elementary school in first grade and learning about drugs, stuff like that on Channel 1 News. So honestly, that's what kept me off drugs. So teaching them early, I think, is, is an awesome idea. But Tesla Alford, who has a preschooler, says it's too much information too soon. I don't think it's necessary. I feel like it's too early for them to learn about tobacco, vaping. Alfred says it would make more sense to teach older children about vaping and drugs. Maybe it should be introduced to them when they're like in middle school. I don't think it's necessary for a kindergartner to know anything about that. This bill also says that students will begin learning about the dangers of human trafficking in sixth grade which Alfred says is an appropriate age. Reporting in Macon, Taylor Hicks, 13 WMAZ News. House Bill 287 still needs the governor's approval before it becomes law. There are a couple more bills on the governor's desk that could impact your students. Let's take a closer look. General Assembly debated some school voucher bills. Senate Bill 47 would broaden eligibility for a program that pays for children with special education needs to attend private schools. It passed. But the House failed to consider House Bill 60, which would have created a new educational savings account to provide vouchers for private schools and homeschooling. And under Senate Bill 42, public schools would be required to let homeschooled students take part in athletics and extracurricular activities. To do that, homeschooled students would have to take at least one online course through the local school system. That bill also passed this session.